Hey, what's up guys? It's Dill the Legend here, and today I'm going to be helping y'all install schematics in the most easy and fastest way possible. So this tutorial is going to be very quick. You can do really cool stuff. Let me just show it off right here if you don't already know what schematic is. Helps you pretty much building and it will build for you. Takes all the fun out of building, but it is still really great. Here is a really big schematic. So you load schematics up, and as long as you have the blocks, you turn on printer mode, and it'll just build it for you. Right now, I do not have the blocks to do that. If you are in creative mode, it will do that for you. And look, I could build all of that within a couple of minutes. It just builds all around you. You just walk around. You can walk around like this, and you'll see your hand moving like this, and it'll be placing all these blocks. I built this within about 30 minutes this house and then this it took me a, quite a while since it's a very big build and you have to build the inside as well um i built the mansion and i built the island and i made a schematic of this one place and just copied and pretty much pasted it all over this place so that's what schematica does and it's really awesome so let's just get right into the tutorial Alright guys, we're back and we're on my browser, so what you're going to do is you're going to have to go here, all the links will be in the description, so no worries, this will be as fast as possible. So what you do, you come here to Minecraft Forge, you will download whatever you need, I would install the installer, I believe this is for Mac, I don't know. Um, so just choose whichever one you need, uh, since I'm Windows, you would choose this one, which probably most of y'all will have. So you would just click there and you click up here for this little wait five seconds make sure you do that don't click on any of that stuff down there just do that and it will install since I already have it I do not need to do that so now you're gonna go over here to mods.io to download the schematica file the mod so first off you're gonna have to have uh, Minecraft Forge installed first to do this and you will drag this mod into your uh, folder so you're just gonna have to get this downloaded easy peasy lemon squeeze all right so download that right there you have to have minecraft forge you will download ludicrous core later on you need to have it for schematica to run so you're pretty much just going to click here download for 1.11 because that is the latest that is out right now uh, just download that jar file wherever you have it. Now go over here to Ludicrous Core Mods.io and you're going to do the same thing. Make sure it's the version that you want it on. Just click download. And wait for this preparing download to get done with. There. See, it's a jar file just like the other one. So now what you're going to have to do is percent add data percent. Alright, so now that you're here in uh, percent add data percent. Look, I got me some mods, some cheats down there, whatever, you know. So now you're going to have to go here to your mods file. If you do not already have a mods folder, you're going to have to make one. So go over here to new folder and then name that mods. Now you're just going to drag all those jar files you just downloaded into here. I got uh, the schematica already in there and ludicrous core. Now, if you all want to install schematics... For it so you're gonna have to run minecraft first off so it'll get all those files created and stuff so just go ahead and uh, run start running minecraft and then once you do that uh, just press the slash button on your numpad if you do not have a uh, slash button on your numpad say you're on a laptop and you don't have a numpad go over here options controls go all the way down your controls into your schematica and you can change all of this to start loading up schematics and open the schematica file you change the uh, slash which should be the uh, divide the load schematic and you change that to whatever you feel like all of that so since I have a numpad in the normal keyboard you're just gonna click that divide button and I have all these schematics and now you're going to want some of these schematics now I won't have any in the description you can choose whatever you want and I have I will leave a link to a really good website to get schematics where I get all mine. So you'd open your schematica folder and you just drag all these schematica files you download into there and you don't have to restart your game or anything, it's already there for you. So I will uh, give you a good link to do this on uh, later on. 
So let's uh, get on to that. It is called. Oh uh, yes, it's like one of the first things to show up as well. Here we go. Minecraft houses, shops, creations. This is where I go to. This is where I got a lot of my stuff for my town. Created many great things. You'll see the house, um, I believe I use on this website. So that's pretty cool. And, uh, floating island. There's so much stuff you can get here. It's a really great website to get schematics. We just click, uh, details and download. Click download. And you have to have an account. Sorry. I, I'm not logged in right now, but I won't. You just click download, it'll download from the website, it's no redirect, sad fly or anything. And you just drag it right into that schematics file and there you go. So I hope you enjoyed um, this video. If you want to know how to make schematics, I'll show you right here. Just press the multiply button, which is like the little star looking button on your numpad. If you don't have that, you're just gonna have to change it. So you would press like red point, that selects an area. And then over here, you press like blue point to see the area you're selecting. You would just do that. And look, it's going to select this area. And then you would just click save. And then that it copies everything that is within this area. So that's pretty cool. I hope you enjoyed. Please uh, leave a like if this tutorial did help you. If you have any questions or concerns, please comment down in the section. Subscribe for more. Um, it, I would really appreciate it. And thank you guys for watching. And peace out.